All right, guys, welcome to another episode. Brought you guys a really special car. But if you guys stay tuned towards uh, the end of uh, the review, walking around the car, you're gonna see that the motor is very special, uh, which really intrigued me when he hit me up on Instagram and I made that post. Let me introduce you to the owner. Um, tell me your name and what do you drive? Uh, I'm Joe Vine, and uh, this is my 1990 Toyota Camry. Toyota Camry. So when you first look at it in the front, you're like, a Toyota Camry? I see a Lexus logo here. So can you explain to us uh what why you have a lexus front end what's going on here well it's basically a, a lexus front bumper from a 1991 uh lexus es2 250 mm -hmm. and um i have the the lexus bumper the the lexus uh, lights and the lexus grill oh, okay i think it looks really like sick like you said it's basically the same car just a luxury version of the camry but looks a lot cleaner the next thing i noticed is you have like uh they look like at first i thought they were ssr uh, reverse mesh wheels, but you were telling me they're not. What 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 do these wheels come these off? These are actually uh, from a Ford Crown Vic. Oh, okay. So uh, these are Crown Vic wheels. They got the you know the SSR look. I like the mesh. So I love I love wheels with step lips. Yeah. I just love that. It just reminds me of like a super old school look. How'd you make this work on your car? Because the lug nuts I and mean, um, the lug pattern I is for a uh, Ford. You know adapters uh, five by. 100 to a 5 by 114 uh -huh. adapters to get it to fit up. Okay. Pull the fenders a little bit so I can make it fit. They stick out a little bit. It looks cool though. I really like it. So tell us the offset and the lug pattern and all the all the specs of these wheels. Well, these are 5 by 114 um, uh, plus plus 35. And what's the width? Of, they're 16s. 16 by 8. Oh, okay, 16 yeah. by 8. And uh, you can see that he flared out his fender. Uh, in the rear because <laughs> you're having rubbing issues, right? Of course. Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. And the thing that's really interesting that you got to consider for this car, there's not really any mods for this car. You don't see people modifying four-door Camrys of this year. So it's a 1990 Toyota Camry. Um, so he basically had to figure out how to modify his car and I can respect that um, A lot of the parts that he has on here are not for this car And I think that's kind of rare like pretty ballsy to get into a project that Doesn't really have supporting mods, but still make it look cool and in my opinion I think the car looks really different and really like unique and cool. So that being said you were telling me earlier This is actually off a of, uh, s14, right? Yeah, s14 rocket bunny. I thought that was pretty interesting yeah. <laughs> He made it work. Ducktail look. Yeah. It's gonna be hard for you guys to see because it's dark and there's shadows, but there is a rear diffuser. We'll go down here so you guys can see. There's a rear diffuser. Now what is that? What car is that off of? That's actually from a RX7 FD. That's pretty cool. So it's the diffuser from that. I'm not sure the name of it, but uh -huh. I always like that look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How did you know that the FD one was gonna work? Um, I just, that was the one I always liked. Uh -huh. And you know, I just, I just went on a limb on it and just bought it to see if I can fit it up and it's uh, working right. Yeah, yeah it, 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 it looks and it lines up pretty good to me. Oh, another thing that was interesting, um, the car does have side skirts. Um, and he had a, like, that was really creative of what you thought. Tell us what those side skirts are from. Side skirts are actually from, uh, they're uh, rain gutters. Okay. So I got them from a Home Depot, really cheap. Couldn't find uh, nothing that fits this car. Yeah, uh, yeah. Cressida, but they don't make anything for the Camry. And, None of it fits this car, so. Oh, okay. This is. That this was is the what best. I think of. Yeah, the best solution you had, huh? Yeah. Okay. That's interesting. Now, uh, let's reveal the best part of the car. Okay. The engine. What's the original motor that comes in this car? Uh, original motor is a uh, 3F SE, I believe. Uh huh. Four cylinder, uh, base model Camry motor. Okay. Back in the day. And I and I assume it's a uh, naturally aspirated with no turbo, right? Yes. Tell me what this motor came out of. Where'd you get it? What is it? This came out of a Japan car only. It's called a Toyota Caldina, which is like a a minivan, something like that, four wheel drive, something. Uh huh. It's a pretty quick car. Uh huh. And so this is like a 3S GTE. This is the fourth gen model. Okay. And you were saying earlier you can also find this motor in a Mark II MR2, right? Yes. That's the, the older gens, I think the second gen. 3S GT comes in those. Oh, okay. He has a, a Gretti blah file. This piping, I'm assuming it's custom, right? Custom. How did you make that work? Just, uh, I had some old pipes laying around from a, a older project, so I kind of just okay. put it in there. Then I put the gold wrapping tape. It's old now, but... Yeah, yeah. just to keep it from heating up, because yeah. you're really close to the header right here yeah. on the 
which is the hot side. Um, and then you were telling me earlier that you upgraded the turbo, right? Yeah, I got it. Uh, the internals rebuilt. I blew the first uh, motor, um, the first turbo. Okay. And uh, I had to rebuild, and they said I can, uh, you know, upgrade it so I can at least make 300 horsepower. So. Okay. Did you guys, when they rebuilt it, you said they used better internals, right? Yeah. Now, did the did the the size of the turbine change or anything like yeah, that? Yeah, they made it bigger. I'm not sure what the specs are on that, uh -huh. but. Uh, they did make it a lot bigger. Okay. Now, how much? This is pretty crazy of how much boost he's he's doing on this engine. Tell him how much boost you're running. Running uh currently right now I'm running 17 pounds. And what is this motor originally? Uh, I think 12 pounds. That's pretty gnarly. That's gonna be pretty fun. Um, and and the way over here was we were driving. Uh, we drove up a Souza Canyon so we could do the review and test drive the car. I could hear him back of me just blowing off, just like, woo -woo 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 -woo. that's all I hear off the mountain, driving the Project Miata, which was pretty cool. I always love the blow off bow. They just scare me though, because sometimes they leak. Yeah. Have you had any issues with that? Um, no, I have more issues of uh, my uh, my pipes popping off. Oh, okay, okay, so your intercooler, pop, intercooler piping popping off. I can give you a good uh, suggestion on how to prevent that, if you like. Yeah. You take the pipe off and on this pipe, clean it really good uh -huh. and put hairspray. Okay. And then put hairspray in the rubber cup leak, put it up and tie it. And it's like basically like an adhesive that is not permanent. Oh, okay. So sure. try that. I'll try it. And then let sure. me know how that goes. All right. And that's a super old school trick. Uh, my cousin with the Evo 9 that was boosting like 28 pounds would always pop off one of his piping. Um, Rick from uh, Road Racing Engineering, the tuner told us about that trick and I've done it on my Evo, I've done it in his and we never had that issue ever again. Definitely got it. Yeah. And it's like that old school hairspray. I don't know the brand, but hairspray basically. The stance of the car uh, looks pretty sick. Are you on coilovers or springs? I'm on coilovers. Okay. Do they make coilovers for this car? No, they don't. Okay. So what did you do? What coilovers are you running and what, it, what from what car? Well, I'm running a uh, Megan Easy Streets. Um, the coilovers are actually from a uh, uh, 1990 Toyota Celica. Uh huh. So I believe it's the ST185 Celica front wheel drive. Okay. And um, I basically had to uh, uh, do a little custom custom work to it just okay. to get it to fit. The backs fit perfectly, but the fronts I had to you know widen out some holes to make it fit on the spindle. Yeah, you're saying you widen the spindle holes. Well, um, I, I guess with with these older cars that don't really have a big following. Uh, people have to customize. This is the second person I've talked to that had to customize their coilovers to work on their car. That's pretty crazy, like, to think about that. Like, I've never come across that issue because I always pick the platform that's yeah, pretty popular. Exactly. Like, from the Miata to a 240 to an Evo. And there's always a, 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 a lot of parts for these cars. And I, I would be pretty sketched out to work on a project that doesn't have uh, big support and modifications. Yeah. Uh, uh, so I give you a lot of props for that because that's, that's something to... Uh, undertake is pretty intense. Give me a little rev. Again. Nice. All right, so I think that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set up the cameras and uh, start driving the car, and we're gonna drive up to uh, Crystal Lake. So we're up here in Azusa Canyons, and I want to drive the car. It's one of my favorite places to run. Um, I'm not going to push the car too much because it is on a stock uh, uh, tune or a stock ECU with no tune yet, uh, boosting a little more uh, boost. So I'm not really going to get into it. I'll probably do a little bit on a straightaway, but we're going to shift early because we also don't have a tachometer. Basically what we have here is a four-door Toyota Camry that's a 1990 with a 2.0 turbo motor that was swapped into this car from some crazy car from Japan that I don't even remember. Um, that could also, he said he was also, you could find it in a... Toyota, uh, Toyota MR2, MR2. Uh, Celica uh, All Tracks. Okay. Now the first feelings I get with the car, it's like super powerful. I punched it on the earlier. Okay, we got rev. It's definitely for the extra weight. <laughs> okay. So apparently it doesn't really. Uh, the car doesn't really rub unless there's more than one person in it. I do have to shuffle steer the steering wheel. There's a lot of play. It's a early 90s, close to 80s car, so the steering rack is not really that tight. Might as well just call it an 80s car. <laughs> an 80s yeah. car, yeah. I remember my aunt having one of these. Yeah. <laughs> it was an automatic. I mean, every, pretty much every family had one of these cars, yeah. you know. 
Dude, but the car feels solid, like. turn you feel the rear end just coming around and I think it has to do that it's front wheel drive yeah. it feels really heavy through a corner like it wants to kick out a little yeah. bit you know, I, I, I broke my uh, my um, my rear sway bar so it has no rear sway bar right now oh, okay yeah the rear this, this car didn't come with, with rear sway bar but I installed it from uh, uh, the Lexus the car does feel loose from the rear but the front end feels really solid. I think once you figure out the, the sway bar situation, you'll be good again. Yeah. And this is the first time I've ever driven uh, a front wheel drive turbo car. I've driven front wheel drive cars. Ouch. Uh, but never uh, turbo. And uh, I've always wanted a, a, a Dodge SRT4. Always wanted that car. It's always been a beast of a car. Yeah. Um, but I never came around to buying it just because of the fact that it was front wheel drive kind of always bugged me. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. There you go. Wow, I've never <laughs> felt that before. That like shot us to the end of the canyon. Yeah. That was, okay, that scared the hell out of me. <laughs> I was taking a turn and I, I punched it and wanted to pull oh, yeah. to the right. Okay, we gotta be very careful with this car. So see, you can tell I'm very unexperienced with front wheel drive turbo cars. Uh, the motor has a lot of power, a lot of potential too. Um, he said that you boosted it. I saw you had a manual boost controller in the front. Yeah. Um, I think once you add some more fuel with the tune, yeah. this car is going to be freaking crazy fast. That's so fun. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so here's the straightaway. I'm going to dump it into second and punch it. needs a tune from first gear I, I don't have a tachometer so i don't know if i'm early shifting i probably am shifting, shifting early shifting early because yeah. when i shift to third it really fell on its face like it didn't want to go anymore uh, but i really don't want to push it because i don't want to over rev your car but that's what it feels like all right so right now we're gonna do some uh some pulls right now so you guys can hear the blow off valve uh going off and on i actually literally put a mic in the hood so you guys can hear it hopefully it sounds okay i'm gonna go down the mountain and then turn around and on the sh on this, this straight away i'll punch it so you guys can hear it Uh, thank you so much for letting us drive your car. I really appreciate it. No problem, man. Um, car was a blast. It was, it was something really interesting. Thank you so much. Glad you liked it, man. <laughs> All right, guys. So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to follow us on uh, Instagram. And if you guys want your car to be reviewed, go ahead and send us a DM of your car. And uh, we'll check it out. But of course, you have to live out here in California. We're not going to go drive out anywhere. Uh, mostly meet in Azusa Canyons or Angeles Crest or something like that to review your car. And it can be anything. Uh, uh, that's interesting that you think is worthy enough to be uh, featured and people not worthy but people will find interesting uh, thank you guys for watching don't forget to check out our online store where you can pick up some stickers key tags and broadway mirrors at uh, carsonboardchannel.com all proceeds goes to supporting the channel to produce more content for you guys thank you guys for watching i love you guys i'll catch you on the next one